other lifelines mm -hmm. ready to play? Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's play Millionaire. <laughs> Going for $100, Kevin. Which of these projectiles is normally shot from a slingshot? Stone, arrow, cannonball, mom's meatloaf. Stone, A final. You got it right for $100. Both the two For 1994 to 2001, Rudy Giuliani served as the 107th mayor of what city? Washington, D.C., Chicago, Boston, New York City. Well, I knew some of these questions were going to be tough, so I better go now. No, I'm just <laughs> if I get this one wrong, I'll never get out of here. So, uh, New York City, D final. That would be Rudy. You got it for $200. Over <laughs> well, $300, Kevin. Which of these utensils is commonly used to stir fry food? Wok, crock pot, colander, rotisserie? A wok, final. Right for $300. Going for $500. Which of these animal names is also a term often used to refer to a spy? Bull, mole, flea, tiger. The mole final. You got it again for $500, going for $1,000. The olive branch is an ancient symbol of what? Knowledge, peace, wealth, strength. G, peace, final. So quick you are, you got it for $1,000. couple of weeks studying for this show some even spend a couple of months well our returning contestant Kevin Smith says he began preparing for this day 46 years ago when he realized his destiny was to be on a game show and now 46 years later you finally made it yeah Whew. I'm a little on the slow side and I understand that you are still cramming up until the last minute yes ma'am what'd I, you do did you bring some books I heard with you uh, you were allowed four bags and I bought three and a half bags full of books and about a half a bag of clothes and, what kind uh, of books are you bringing? Like encyclopedias or? Well, yeah, uh, uh, desk encyclopedias and, and uh, all sorts of reference books. I bought everything except the thesaurus, which I don't need. I assume you're going to need. So your head is full of a lot of useless information. Exactly right. It's just coming out of my ears. Do you feel any question that's thrown out here you'll be able to answer? Oh, I wouldn't be that presumptuous. I'm just going to give it my best shot. Listen, you have already won $1,000, okay? So you're just 10 questions away from winning $1 million, and you have all your lifelines left. They're all looking at you. So are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. All righty, then, let's play Millionaire. Okay, you're going for $2,000 here, Kevin. A Zamboni is a machine used to do what? Reset bowling pins, shoot tennis balls, trim golf greens, resurface ice rinks. D, resurface ice rinks, final. Good start for you. You got $2,000. Going for $4,000 here now, Kevin. The 1995 movie, The Usual Suspects, takes its title from a famous line in what movie? Casablanca? The Godfather? Cool Hand Luke? North by Northwest? Well, it could be The Godfather. Or North by Northwest, Cary Grant, but it's uh, Casablanca. Hey, final answer, sweetheart. Humphrey, you are right. You got it for 4000 <laughs> Going for 8000 Kevin. Thank you. In the game of chess, which of these pieces is never able to move diagonally? Pawn, king, queen, rook. We're going to have to go 50 50. 50 50. All right, computer, please randomly take away two wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the right one. Alrighty, you got a king or a rook. D, rook, final. You got it right for $8,000. Kevin, you're going for 16000 here. On the TV series, Everybody Loves Raymond, Raymond and his wife have a total of how many children? One, two, three, four. I've only watched the show once or twice, I'm sorry to say. He's a, he's a very fine performer. 
Well, you have two lifelines there if you need either one. You can phone a friend or you can ask the audience. Yes, I'll have to ask the audience. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's why the lifeline's there. Audience, Kevin needs your help. On your keypads using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Two percent believe it is three. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that doesn't mean they're right. Um, okay. That's an awful. Uh, that's one of the highest percentages I've ever. Thank you very much. Um, C three final answer. You want to thank him one more time? Yes. Thank you very much. You got very it, much. sir. <laughs> We know the boob tube, okay, here at Millionaire. That we know. You're going for 32000 here, Kevin. You get this right, you can't leave with less than that. Thank you. What rock group is named after a gym teacher who taught at the original band members' high school? The Birds, Leonard Skinner, Jefferson Airplane, Pink Floyd. We're going to have to guess. Well, you do have a lifeline. I just want to remind you of that because if you guess wrong, you go down to a thousand. But if you think you know and you want to save that lifeline, that's your choice. For some reason, I think it's B. Leonard Skinner, the uh, final place. Well, you guessed right, Kevin. You got it for thirty-two thousand dollars. Great man. That means I can buy a big box of socks. Okay. I was yeah, well, you can get a big, big box, Whoa. all kinds of socks. All righty. Is that what you really want? I noticed that all of a sudden, every time I was pulling out a sock, I found another hole. Because I, I keep buying well in, in, in bunches. So when I was sat here and, and won the, uh, the thousand yesterday, that's all I kept thinking was, well, I can buy some socks now. You know, so, okay. Yeah. So back the truck up. Yeah, we, exactly. $32,000 worth of socks. You're going to have no shortage of socks. <laughs> Let's go for, like, pants, okay? Yeah, They're all over right. 64000 here. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The flu vaccine is not recommended for people who are very allergic to what food? Peanuts, eggs, milk, honey. The eggs final. You know, all this studying has definitely paid off, Kevin. You have $64,000. How are you doing, okay? Uh, ask me in about three or four How questions. You? <laughs> okay. I'm, well, you're, you're, you're four away from a million. Thank you very much. Going for 125000 here. Anti-communist leader Joseph McCarthy served as a U.S. senator for what state? Illinois, Kentucky, Wisconsin, Ohio. Let's see Wisconsin final. You are now three away from a million dollars. Kevin is going for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars when we come back with more. We are back with Kevin Smith from Los Angeles, California, a retired truck driver. You've been waiting 46 years for this moment, preparing for 46 years. Excuse me, it's uh, actually 45. I'm sorry, it's, it's 1957. Oh, 45. Uh, well, okay. So what's a year between friends? <laughs> and look at where you are. $125,000, just three away from winning a million dollars. You have one lifeline left. You're going for the million. And if you make it to a million, any plans? Yes, ma'am. I, 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 since I was five, I've only had to, two holy grails. One was to uh, be as lucky as my dad at finding the right woman. Uh, that's still a work in progress in Los Angeles. It's not as easy as it might seem. And the second thing was I always wanted to make a lot of money, not for myself, but for my mom and dad. They gave us everything we needed. <clears throat> so you're going to give this one in plenty to your mom? My mom and my sisters. All right, Kevin, let's go for that million then. They deserve it. You're a nice guy. thousand dollars Kevin published in 1936 the first issue of life magazine had a Margaret Bork white photo of a what on its cover dam flower garden volcano lighthouse my dad was a big fan of life he was an amateur photographer actually took lessons from Karsh of Ottawa if you know who he is and it's a uh, 
It's a damp A final. $250,000, Kevin. A little surreal, isn't it? Uh, it's a, this is my first out-of-body experience. <laughs> Well, excuse me. I did. I did take a tab of Mr. Natural back in the '60s. Everybody was doing <laughs> okay, it. Okay, we don't need oh, yeah. to. I don't want them to take you away here. I was right, just, just right. one, just one. All right. And, uh, I learned my lesson. I think it's still a little <laughs> bit there, but I don't want to. Okay. All right, about Kevin. About flashback, boy. <laughs> Two away from a million dollars. You're going for five hundred thousand dollars, Kevin. One lifeline left. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free is inscribed in the lobby of what agency's headquarters? FBI, CIA, Department of Education, Library of Congress. Lifeline, and I, I'm just trying to figure out which one. Okay. Let's ask Dr. Jerry Erico. He's an old pal. Dr. Jerry? Mm -hmm. Okay, our friends at AT&T are going to help us get Jerry on the line. Dr. Erico. Hi, Jerry. Yes. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. Hi. Hi, I'm here with your old buddy, Kevin. Kevin who? <laughs> Kevin Smith. Oh, yes, yes, I remember him. You know Kevin, 46 years he's been preparing for this moment. Yes, I do. Guess how well he's doing. Have how a guess. How well? Uh, 64,000. No. Higher? Higher. Oh, Kevin, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> Go ahead. <clears throat> How about 500000 He's going for $500,000. Oh, that's my old buddy, Kevin. That's him. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. All right, Kevin, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts right now. And, you sh and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free is inscribed in the lobby of what agency's headquarters? FBI, CIA, Department of Education, Library of Congress. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free is inscribed in the lobby of what agency headquarters, FBI, CIA, Department of Ed, Library of Congress? Five, four. I think it's three, Library of Congress, eighty percent. Eighty percent. Other direction? Yes, ma'am. For some reason, I was thinking the CIA. I don't know why. Library of Congress makes a lot of sense, and uh, or the Department of Ed. Not Mr. Ed. That's something else. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a tough one because what do you go with? Your gut or your friends? He's a smart guy. Get it wrong, you would drop down to thirty-two thousand dollars. Get it right, you go up to five hundred thousand. You can always, Kevin, if you wanted to, you could walk with the two hundred fifty thousand. Yes, ma'am. That money is very real and it's there. I don't know why, but I, I think it's a CIA B final answer. Oh, jeez, Kevin. I'm so glad you trusted your gut. You got it right. <laughs> so excited for you i, I can't you believe much. you did that that was a because i because jerry's a real smart guy dr jerry he's a wonderful chiropractor you know practitioner i mean he's the guy that you yeah. want to go and he, he really knows a lot of stuff but you didn't believe him 
I, uh, it's not that. It's just for some reason that's what I thought the first time I, as it was coming up. Well, listen, I, Jerry, I'm sure is relieved that you didn't go with him. He would have felt terrible. Well, it was an, it was an intelligent guess. Yep, but I'm uh, sure he's glad. Listen, I got to tell you, we've never had anybody get to this point. You were the first contestant in the syndicated version of this show to get to this point. So we're so excited. To be I'm crossing everything. I swear everything is crossed here. Are your, are your hands okay. still cold? My hands are, my hands are cold. Your hands are so warm. Well, it's, it's all that vitamin E I've been taking. All right. You know what? You get the million. I'm going to throw in the socks. You don't have to oh. spend anything on the socks, all right? You mean a crate? <laughs> a big crate of money. I want, I want those black knee socks. You the got guys, them. Whatever you want. The guys down in Florida wear with the sandals, you know? Got them. The knee them. socks with the garters. We're going all the way. For $1 million. You ready to see the question? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's play. The U.S. icon, Uncle Sam, was based on Samuel Wilson, who worked during the War of 1812 as a what? Meat inspector, mail deliverer, historian, weapons mechanic. <clears throat> uh, let me just give me a moment, but I'm pretty sure. I have to remind you that if you miss it, you go down to 32. Yes, ma'am. But if you get it right, you'll be the first contestant to win a million dollars. And I won't have to worry about socks for the rest of my life. No, you won't. <laughs> my, my mom will see to that. You can make your mom a very happy woman. I'm sure she already is very proud of uh, you. Well, but... there have been times where I probably could have been a better kid, but I, <laughs> I, I was always in her trying, honest. Do you think you know it? Yes, ma'am. I just want to make sure I'm reading it right. Uh, a ways back, there was an Asian gentleman who read a question. I read it the same way he read it. The answer was nectarine. He read it as tangerine. Regis sat there and read it as tangerine. We, in other words, we all saw the same question. We all got the same wrong answer because we all read it too quickly. Okay. And uh, I just, I'm not milking the moment. Trust no, no, me. no, I just... please. Do you want me to read it again? Would, Would that... you please? Sure. Just... The U.S. icon Uncle Sam was based on Samuel Wilson who worked during the War of 1812 as a what? Meat inspector, mail deliverer, historian, weapons mechanic. A meat inspector, final answer. I'm so excited. <laughs> Smith, it is quite unbelievable. I have to tell the audience a few things you don't know about Kevin. I told you he's a retired truck driver, drove for 20 years. You've been preparing for this for 45 years, being since, the, since a uh, game show. And again, I say to you, the, the sweetest moment for me is when you said you were sort of doing this for your, your dad and your mom. And I know that your dad has passed, and you said you wanted to give the million to your mom and your <laughs> sisters. My and your mom is not here today because she's one of your phone friends. That's right. She knows a lot of your stuff, mom, so June. she's on the phone. <laughs> so why don't we call your mom, June, right now, and you can break the news to her, okay? Okie dokie. Okay, our friends at AT&T are going to help us get... We'll just tease her just a little. Okay. Just a little, and then... And then we'll do it. Yeah. They're going to help us get June on the line. Hello. June? Yes, Meredith. Hey, hi. I'm here with your idiot son, Kevin. <laughs> he told you his name. <laughs> he did. He said that he always signs his cards to you, your idiot son, Kevin. How are you doing, June? Okay. How are you doing? I'm great. Kevin, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Okie dokie. Mom? Yep. Go ahead. You can, you can relax. I, I, uh, I got lucky. Big oh, time. Oh, good. So it's, it's, it's got six zeros and a big one in front of it. Wow. And I, but, but I want to thank on TV 
all the all the nice things you and dad and all the siblings have done for for me the the idiot son who went out to los angeles god knows why but he did but many years ago uh malcolm forbes was asked what the greatest single piece of luck was that he had in his life and he said i chose the right parents Okay, well, you are congratulations. That is it for tremendous day here at Molina. You know, people ask me why I took this gig. This is why I took this gig. This is the best in the world. We'll see you next time.